Airway mucus hypersecretion is one of the important features of chronic inflammatory airway diseases, including chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, bronchial asthma, bronchiectasis and cystic fibrosis. Its clinical presentations include recurrent coughing and phlegm. Airway mucus is direct correlation with patient quality of life and prognosis of the disease. Even mortality rate and hospitalization rate. Long-term and repeated inflammation induces changes of airway cells, metaplasia of goblet cells, as well as the hyperplasia and hypertrophy of submucosal glands, causing a secretory hyperresponsiveness that leads to impaired mucociliary clearance. Means mucus is secreted with large quantity but the body cannot clean itself from this mucus. Consequently, Excessive mucus is more difficult to expel and is retained in the airways to form mucus plugs, which worsen the obstruction of the already narrowed airway and increase the colonization by pathogenic bacteria. These events may lead to persistent inflammation, sustained hypoxia, deterioration of the condition of a patient or even mortality. Expectorant therapies targeting the potential mechanisms of mucus hypersecretion. Generally, Expectorants are mainly mucoactive medicines, including nausea-stimulating expectorants, mucolytics, mucokinetics, and proteases and nucleases. Airway mucus consists of many components, including glycoproteins, non-glycoprotein-like proteins, lipids, minerals, water and other compounds. But most important component is mucin, a highly glycosylated macromolecule, hydrophilic and viscoelastic properties of airway mucus. Also, elevated glycosylation and sulfation of mucus during chronic airway inflammation significantly increases the viscosity and acidity of airway mucus, making it immobile in the airway and thus more difficult to expel, which further aggravates the airway obstruction. On the other hand individuals with secretory hyperresponsiveness symptoms, including chronic cough and phlegm, the incidence of COPD is 2.88 fold higher than that in the general population and is not associated with smoking exposure. Recently it has become clear, that airway mucus hypersecretion is not only a clinical symptom but also an independent risk factor for disease progression and the poor prognosis of patients with chronic inflammatory airway diseases. Also, non-mucoactive agents, including some herbals, muscarinic acetylcholine receptor antagonists, corticosteroids, leukotriene receptor antagonists and macrolide antibiotics, have also shown expectorant effects. Ambroxyl is one of the most popular and most used mucolytic and expectorant. It is able to reduce the viscosity of sputum by inducing the bronchial glands to secrete serum and breaking up the mucopolysaccharide fibers of the mucin, which facilitates the penetration of antibiotics into the mucus and improves the local antibacterial effect. Simultaneously, ambroxyl also induces alveolar type 2 cells to synthesize and secrete pulmonary surfactants that reduce the adhesion of the mucus to the cilia and accelerate the transport of mucus in the airway, which helps to expel the sputum and increase the airway mucosal clearance. In addition, ambroxyl has specific antitussive, antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects, along with a relatively significant inhibitory effect on histamine-induced constriction of the bronchial smooth muscle. N-acetylcysteine, NAC, is also important mucolytic agent. It reduces the viscosity of mucus by cleaving the disulfide bonds of mucins and the DNA fibers in the purulent sputum, leading to its efficacy under conditions where general expectorant medicines are ineffective. It also accelerates the ciliary movement within airway mucosa and, and stimulates the gastropulmonary vagal reflex, thereby promoting the excretion of mucus. In addition, NAC has comprehensive antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, anti-injury, anti-lipid oxidation, anti-platelet aggregation, anti-mutagenesis and vasodilatory activities, and is able to protect anti-protease activity and inhibit allergic reactions, among others. According to studies prolonged treatment of patients with COPD with NAC, 400 mg slash day for 6 months, led to a significant reduction of exacerbations of 41%.
and has significant protective effect and reduces the readmission rate of patients with COPE by 30%. In addition to being a safe and efficacious expectorant medicine, NAC has been extensively used to treat pulmonary diseases including emphysema, tuberculosis, fibrous alveolitis and primary pulmonary amyloidosis. The most frequently reported adverse effects of oral N-acetylcysteine are vomiting and diarrhea. After 16 to 18 days of N-acetylcysteine use, the incidence of vomiting and diarrhea increased by 50% and 43.5%, respectively. Increased blood pressure, respiratory distress, chest pain, fever, rectal bleeding, headache, hypotension, lethargy, and skin allergy reportedly occur in less than 5% of cases. Aerosolized N-acetylcysteine is poorly tolerated due to its irritant effect and a very foul odor that can induce vomiting. A high incidence of anaphylactic reactions is observed in patients given intravenous N-acetylcysteine. Due to its propensity to cause emesis, N-acetylcysteine is contraindicated in patients with peptic ulcers. It is also contraindicated in patients with esophageal varices and Mallory Weiss tears due to similar reasons. It must be strictly avoided in patients who have had an anaphylactic reaction to the drug in the past. Carbocystine, as a mucoregulatory agent, recovers the viscoelasticity of normal mucus and enhances mucociliary clearance via interactions between the disulfide bonds of mucin and the carboxymethyl structure of the agent. According to studies it reduces acute exacerbations and improves quality of life. Mild gastric discomfort, gastric ulceration, and fixed drug eruptions have been reported with carbocystine. The role of herbal medicine is significant in expectorant management. Balloon flower, rhizoma erysematis, caladium, polygala, and aster are commonly adopted for expectorant therapy. Triterpenoid saponins are considered as the major effective ingredients. Mucokinetics, such as myrtle oil, a powerful thinner of hardened mucus. There are also several novel medicines for expectorant therapy, including cholesterol-lowering statins, epidermal growth factor receptor tyrosine kinase inhibitors, phosphodiesterase 4 inhibitors, stanozolol, surfactants, flavonoids, tachykinin receptor antagonists, protease inhibitors, cytokine antagonists and purinergic agonists.